From Fox 5 New York, this is Good Day New York. All right, after dealing with an economic fallout from the pandemic, Jamaica's tourism, it is making a very strong rebound. Oh, it's such a beautiful island. You have to go. We're going to take you in your mind because <laughs> coming up, we're talking with Jamaica's tourism minister about all the beautiful uh, things the island has to offer. From world-class beaches to its legendary reggae, some fest, music festival, the beauty and culture of Jamaica, they are second to none. Jamaica's tourism continues to experience record-breaking growth. Tourism Minister, the Honorable Mr. Edmund Bartlett, back on Good Day New mm -hmm. York. Did you bring us airline tickets or something, <laughs> Bianca? We, we're, we don't even need much clothes bag in Jamaica, is, right? Packed. That's the range, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was there, I just, what's stayed in my mind was just how beautiful the water is. Mm -hmm. The sand is the most spectacular stand I've ever seen in my life. And the people of Jamaica are just so welcoming. How are things going in Jamaica? Well, first of all, you touched it all. When you speak of the turquoise waters of Jamaica and the beautiful people, people, that's it. Jamaica is characterized by its beautiful, wonderful beaches and its great people. Mm. People are the essence of our experience in Jamaica. So that, uh, having been said, takes us into another space. We are seen as being the destination where the people have hospitality in their DNA. So you can't second guess the quality of the experience that you get when you come to Jamaica. And Minister, I know you have a lot of great things coming up, including the Sumfest Festival, which we've already talked about on Good Day. It's this wonderful festival that brings together the best musicians in the area. That's coming up. Um, but Jamaica has so much to offer. The food is fabulous in Jamaica. We don't talk about that enough. Absolutely. And, you know, um, we sort of did a word bubble to see what people thought of Jamaica. What three words would come to their minds first? And, and? I was surprised it was food, number mm -hmm. one, food. Wow. Second was music. And third, love. So, you see, Jamaica is a destination for food, music, and love. What and about so that's a big invitation. Um, and gastronomy is a huge item. You know, the great food is of the world. 42% of the expenditure of a visitor is on food. Wow. So you come to Jamaica, and the, uh, it doesn't matter what type of palate you have. You how have discriminating to your palate may be. Mm. Just come to Jamaica. Our food is there to satisfy. You have to palate. have a favorite. For someone that's never been, uh, they have, you know, two days, maybe for a weekend. Because I would like to spend two weeks, but, you know, maybe you get two <laughs> days. Um, maybe some of your favorite places that, that someone should visit. No, well, if you come to Jamaica, you must do Duns River Falls. That's a must. As part of our uh, uh, physical features that the God of Heaven sent for us mm. uh, when Jamaica was made on the eighth day of creation. Mm. As you know, right? So it's. Uh, the food, uh, the jerk, which is Portland, Portland. Yeah. You must go to Port Antonio. You you must go to Montego Bay, of course. That's where mm -hmm. I live. Mm -hmm. You oh, must you go. Do? Yes, okay, you yeah. must go to Negril. So you must go to the cockpit country. I mean, where you see stalagmites and stalactites and underground caverns yeah. and waterways underground and uh, the biodiversity of Jamaica is to die for. We have over 3,000 species that are endemic to Jamaica. So all of these are wonderful attributes. And oh. then uh, most important of all is the beautiful riverine experiences of Jamaica. Mm. You know, I spoke of Duns River Falls, but then there is the Martha Bray uh, rafting experience and there's a you know, rafting. Oh, I don't know about that. You're gonna you get your hair wet. Raft? Do oh. I have to no, get she, my hair she wet? She get to no, no, you <laughs> never get <laughs> Well, let's talk about why you've seen such an explosive growth. Obviously, we know the pandemic hurt just tourism across the board. But what have you guys done to reel people back in in terms of seeing these numbers grow? Well, first of all, I think that we manage COVID well. Yeah. Uh, to the extent that we became the envy of most destinations, and that showed that Jamaica's. Uh, destination was a secure one that mm -hmm. we had uh, a sense of uh, enabling a safe secure and seamless vacation for mm. everyone and that's a big calling uh, and then airlift Jamaica has more airlift from the United States of America than any other Caribbean how, how long is arguably the flight? all the Caribbean combined if we so take a flight down there how long is the flight the, from here 
Uh, three hours. Not bad. That's as long as it takes to get through traffic <laughs> sometimes. Easy. To paradise. You know? So what I love about Jamaica is, of course, you have the high-end accommodations, but you also have a lot of family-friendly places that you can go to and, and, and accommodations that can fit your budget. Absolutely. I mean, we, we have the sharing economy, uh, you know, commonly referred to Airbnb. Um, so we have all the accommodation uh, levels that you would require to satisfy your budget. Mm. So if you're high end, of course, I mean the luxury, luxury plus is there. You know we have our half moons and our uh, trials and our um, round hills round and hill. our tridents <laughs> and our G jams and our you name it. There's so, so many wonderful high end luxury accommodation, great villas as well in Jamaica. And then of course we have the mid range. Uh, with the all-inclusives that, again, uh, satisfies your budget, but it also gives you high-quality yeah. experiences. And, you know, the service level in Jamaica, that's one of the things that I personally am very, very proud of. Mm -hmm. The service level in Jamaica is at mm. a very high standard. And you can always rely on the warmth and friendliness of the workers in Jamaica. And, and, and it's something that has enabled us to have a 42% repeat business. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, that very few lot. destinations in the yeah. world has that kind of repeat business, which that's means a satisfied customer will always okay. come back. Mm -hmm. So you don't have any smog there today like we have in New York City, do you? Well, I came, you know, with the equipment. I started working on it. <laughs> <laughs> what's the weather like in uh, Jamaica today, by the way? Oh, what's, it's beautiful. what's the weather like this we're time of year? in the 80s, year? and um, it's... Uh, it's, we have a little bit of liquid sunshine today. Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> so there's some level of precipitation, where, but it happens and it disappears very quickly, and the sun is always shining just like beautiful. The Caribbean. Well, at which resort do you suggest that we host Good Day New York from Jamaica at? Good Day well, Jamaica. I, well, I tell you, we have agreed on that, haven't we? Yes. That you will come to Jamaica and you will host Good Day Jamaica. Not, not you heard Good it Day from him. York. We Good can do it from Jamaica. him. And we're ready to put it together, <laughs> and we we'll do it from Montego Bay or Ocho or Negril, any of those three, or perhaps all three. All right. Minister, let's shake on that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and she's going to do the, raft, the, the yeah. rafting as well. <laughs> of course, and the real grande, you can't miss that one also. And um, be my guest. Yes, oh, I well. personally would like to have I've never been, so and Bianca. would love to go. Well, we know in Sun Fest is Jamaica. coming up in July. Lots yes. of people well, go for the festival. You can start with that one. Yeah, yeah. That, um, that's a Joe good Bob job. Joe and the team have been doing a marvelous uh, job to here. prepare. <laughs> I, I know he was to prepare the festival of a lifetime. Well, mm -hmm. the honorable. It's the greatest reggae show on earth. It sure is. The honorable Mr. Edmund Bartlett, we always appreciate you coming on Good Day New York. And my people are going to get with your people and we're going to work out yeah. a date. Bianca and I are coming. We are going to work. You know who's coming too, as well, uh, Mike Woods. Please. He has to do the weather from there, too. Mike, we got to talk about the weather in you Jamaica. You need the weather guy there. Well, yeah. of course, the weather guy comes to tell you that Jamaica <laughs> has the best weather in the world. They do. So it's 80, 80 degrees there right now, mostly <laughs> sunny. So even oh, that yeah. liquid yeah. sunshine thing's not happening. And I'm also interested in the, the bobsled team, you know, because I want to be a part of that, too.